What is up everybody? It's your boy DJ Slankman and today I got a few things to talk about. First is Hurricane Irma. Now, as a lot of you may know, this is an extremely dangerous storm and it's heading straight towards Florida and it is so strong right now. This video I'm about to show you was taken from one of the islands that it hit last night and it's just unbelievable. It's a category five. That's 185 mile per hour winds and 225 mile per hour gusts. That could rip a house to pieces easily. This video is crazy right here. If you live in Florida, please take shelter, get somewhere safe, evacuate if you need to, prepare because this is gonna be huge. And then there's another hurricane right behind of it. So uh, yeah, this hurricane season is really uh, crazy. Be safe down there guys in Florida. I really hope it doesn't hit you guys. I hope it just kind of curves out and goes away, but uh, we'll see what happens. The next star I have is of an NFL star. His name is Michael Bennett. I don't know if you guys seen the video yet of him being tackled and pretty much being arrested, but the video is right here. On Twitter, the police said, reference a statement by Michael Bennett, this case is under investigation, reserve judgment, we will address this publicly today. So we're gonna find out more about that and what's going on. Seems like this cop stuff is like going crazy, man. You should know, like you're a cop, you got a body cam on, you know everything you're doing is gonna be judged super critically. Anyways, this was during the weekend of the Floyd Mayweather fight, and yeah, so he was in Las Vegas, and some shots rang off, and like everybody else started running away. Well, the cops, the cops found Michael Bennett, they had pinned him on the ground, thinking that this was the man that shot those shots off. Well, it happened to say the cop was telling Michael Bennett, saying, if you move, I'll blow your fucking head off. Michael said he couldn't breathe for a few seconds, and that he lost feeling in his fingers because the handcuffs were so tight. He also feared that he was gonna die. Well, the cops figured out that who he was, he's an NFL superstar and they let him go, but like, that's racial profiling to me. <laughs> you'll see a black man running down the street, gunshots go off and you'll find the nearest black man and you run at him and you start to arrest him. I don't know if they called out it was a black man that did this or that it was unknown subject, but it, it sounds a little weird to me if you ask me. So he is lawyering up, he is ready to sue. I would if I was him too. That's kind of messed up, like I said, racial profiling, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. Hit the like or dislike, I don't give a shit. It's your boy, DJ Slankman, out.